Hey, honey. Are you almost done in there? It's been like 20 minutes. Even the TV is asking if we're still watching this show. I know it doesn't take you that long to pee. Hey, babe. Are you okay? Babe? Honey, I don't like it when you don't answer like this. Is everything okay? Oh, hey. Everything all good? Are you sure? You were just in there a really long time. And you seem a little spacey. Okay. No, I promise. I'm not trying to interrogate you. I'm just making sure you're okay. Alright. Let's go finish this show then, shall we? I think the TV is going to be upset with us if we make it wait any longer. Nice and comfy. Here's some blanket for you. You, you don't want any. Are you not cold? Okay then, well, let me know if you change your mind. <laughs> Come here, let me snuggle up. Okay, now I know that there's something wrong. You never pull away from me like that. <laughs> Honey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, 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 you're shaking, baby, hey, shh, shh, it's okay, listen to me, okay, you don't need to answer with words, just nod yes or no, are you having an anxiety attack, yes, okay, okay, no, 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 shh, it's okay, it's okay, you don't need to apologize for anything, sweetheart. It's okay. It's fine. Hey. Is, is it okay if I, I touch you? Or, or do you not want to be touched right now? You don't want to be touched right now? Oh, I can touch you. Okay. Alright, well, let me know if that changes, alright? I'm just going to put my hand on your chest. Just really, really lightly, like this, okay, I'm gonna rub some small circles, and while I do this, I'm gonna take some deep, deep breaths, all right, and I want you to try and match my breathing if you can, okay, honey, if you can't, then that's okay, I just do your best, all right, so, okay, Ready? Okay, in. In. Good job, babe. That's it. Oh, yeah. Doing a great job. That's it. Keep going. That's it. Nothing in this moment exists except for our breathing. And my hand on your chest. Okay, sweetie? You feel like you're gonna get sick again? Okay, okay. It's okay. Come on. Let's get you to the bathroom. It's okay. That's it. Oh, I've got you, don't worry. Okay, okay, there you go. It's okay, you're okay. I'm just gonna rub your back, all right? That's it. You just let it all out, okay? You'll feel all better when you're done. 
Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I know, it's horrible. It's okay, get it all out. It's okay. You're okay. I got you. That's it. That's it. Good job. Finished? Okay, honey. That's okay. You want to rinse your mouth out? No? Just need a second? Okay. That's absolutely fine. You sit, you can sit on the floor, that's okay. Do whatever you need to do right now. Oh, honey. Here, let me sit with you, okay? Here we go. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. You come and put your head in my lap, that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna wrap my arms around you, okay? Yeah, you hold on to me as tight as you need. That's it. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Just try and take some deep breaths, okay? That's it. Oh, you're shaking so bad. It's okay. It's okay. That's okay. Just keep taking those breaths. I've got you. So safe in my arms. Nothing's gonna hurt you. I got you. And we'll sit here as long as it takes to calm you down. I'm gonna breathe all of that anxiety away. I'm gonna feel so much better. So much better. Mm. You do such a good job. That's it. Big deep breaths. That's it. I can see you starting to relax a little. Just keep focusing on your breath, okay? It's okay. No, try to match me. Ready? In. And out. In. And out. In. are you apologizing for? You know you have absolutely nothing to be sorry for. I get anxiety attacks just like you do. I am the last person who would ever judge you for this. Oh. Because this isn't the first one you've had this week. Well, that's okay. Baby, that's it. You can't control it. It happens sometimes. Everyone has their bad weeks. No, baby, no, 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 no. No, no, you didn't ruin our night. We can watch that show anytime, okay? It's not gonna go anywhere. No, I'm not upset with you for not feeling well. <laughs> Would I be upset with you if you came down with the flu? No. Exactly. So, I'm not going to be upset with you for having a bad anxiety week. No, of course not. No, I, I could never be upset with you for that. Never, never, never. Mm -mm. It's okay. I know that you've been told in the past that, that your anxiety is a burden and a bother. But baby, I need you to believe me need you. I need you to believe me, okay? Then I say that, that it couldn't be further from the truth. It's not like you have a choice over this kind of stuff. It's just how your body and, and your mind deal with being overwhelmed and, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know? Sometimes things get too much and your body needs a way to relieve yourself of all the stress. Yeah, baby, I know, it sucks. Believe me, I know. It's like, 
you really can't come up with a better way to let me know that I'm doing too much than to make me panicky and nauseous and paranoid. <laughs> and speaking of, how are you feeling now? No? Not nauseous at all? That's so good, honey. Just tired? Yeah. That is totally understandable. How about this? In a few minutes, let's get you into a nice hot shower. You can stay in there and relax for as long as you need. And then, we're gonna get dressed into our comfiest clothes. The comfiest that we can possibly muster. I'll even rummage through that drawer. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. And then we're gonna lay in bed, and we're gonna have some cozy cuddles. Sound like a plan? Okay, baby. Mm. Okay, well, you go ahead and you get in the shower and I am going to go and dig through that drawer and find some nice comfy clothes for you, alright? Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. You just call if you need anything, okay? Okay, baby. There you are, you beautiful human. Feeling better? Yeah, I can tell you're more relaxed. Good. Okay, so I did some digging around and I found these. Yeah, <laughs> I picked out the comfiest clothes I could find for you. Uh, these are your favorite pajama pants, I think. <laughs> yeah, and here is a t-shirt, um, <laughs> yeah, it's the one that we got, uh, oh god, where do we go? Yeah, <laughs> and we bought it, like, four sizes too big. Well, I thought, what's gonna be cozier than a huge tent-like t-shirt? <laughs> yeah. No. Here's the next thing, um, did you take any of your anxiety medication today? I, I have both of them here, um, the regular daily one, uh, and then the strong one that you use for emergencies. Well, I thought maybe, do you want to try taking some now that you're, you're not nauseous anymore? Yeah? Okay. There we go. Uh, here's some water. Yeah. Uh, drink all of it, okay. You're probably a little dehydrated from when you were throwing up. Keep going. <laughs> That's it. No, no, that'll do, that'll do. Good job. <laughs> Alright, okay. Now... Now it's time for the final and most important part of post-anxiety attack recovery. <sighs> Cuddles and sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go on baby, you get in first. How would you like to cuddle? You want face to face or spooning? You got it, baby. <laughs> come here. That's it, come here, you. That's it. Hi. What you thinking about? You still feeling upset? I told you, there's nothing to worry about, honey. Oh, you're frustrated? Tell me, tell me everything. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Having multiple attacks in one week really, really sucks. And it's so tiring. Yeah. Yeah, it, and you feel helpless because it's happening even with the medication and with everything that the doctors tell you to do. Yeah. Well, baby, that happens sometimes. It might be a sign that you need to get your dosage checked. Or maybe... I don't know, do you think maybe we need to do some work to lighten your stress load a little? You know that if you need help with anything, anything, you can ask me, right? I'm always here for you. Even if it's just to be a listening ear for you to vent your stresses and anxiety too. I don't care. I want to be that person for you. Hey, no. Come on. No, 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 no. Mm. It's okay. Don't stop with that. Come on. It's like I said earlier. What people have said to you in the past is wrong. And it makes me really mad to think about. But you shouldn't listen to it anymore. In this space, right here with me, you are loved and cared for and your feelings are valued far beyond anything else, okay? Your problems are never, ever a burden for me. You got that? I mean, really think about it. I'd much rather take the time to help you talk through whatever you're feeling than to have you try and hide it and have you end up like you were tonight. It makes me really sad to think about you trying to shoulder that much anxiety by yourself and feeling like you can't tell me about it or you don't want to burden me with it. It's never going to be a burden. I love you, alright? And when you love someone, helping them through their problems is never an inconvenience. In fact, I'm always sad that you're going through so much, but it makes me so happy to be able to help you. I love helping you. I love being this person for you. Do you want to talk through some more of it now? No? You want to wait until tomorrow? Maybe you'll be a bit more clear-headed and Rested? Of course, baby, of course I can wait. Whatever makes you most comfortable. The medication is probably kicking in anyway, huh? Yeah. You're starting to feel a lot heavier in my arms. <laughs> you did so good. Just close your eyes. I got you. You're okay. You're so safe. You're so safe here. I got you, okay? Mm-hmm.